Hey, hey, it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. Well, you know what? I got some good news. Hopefully, it's good news. Demetrius Andre and Jamal Chalo have been talking on the phone, uh, trying to put together this fight uh, to happen this summer. Now, as you know, these guys have been going back and forth for a long, long time about fighting each other. Matter of fact, even Jamel Charlo as well, because at one time they were supposed to fight each other. And uh, one way or another, uh, from what I understand, Demetrius Andre didn't, he walked away from the deal. And, uh, Ever since then, it's been bad blood with them. Uh, back and forth, the blame game, everything. But as you know, Demetrius Andre, he did fight uh, in January on the uh, Tank uh, Garcia uh, card. And when he was asked the question about fighting Jamal Charlo, he was like, it's definitely a fight he wants to make. Now, he's he's on the PBC side now. He's not with the zone anymore. Because when he was with the zone, PBC did offer him a deal to fight uh, Jamal Charlo. And he turned the deal down. And it pretty much went something like this. He was like, hey, I'm making this easy money over here with the zone why would i even worry about what they got going on over at pbc and it and actually showtime they were a little uh deterred about it as well because uh about nine months ago they were talking to steven espinoza about the fight and he was like man there's so many better fights for uh, jamal charlo like uh, Benavidez or Canelo. And he was like, to be truthfully honest, you know, he said, I don't think people really want to see that fight now. But it uh, seemed like that uh, we are back. We done came full circle. And that fight is being talked about again. And like I said, Demetrius Andre is at uh, PBC side now. Jamal Charlo has not fought in two years now. He has had problems. Uh, with uh, One time he had a back pain, so that's what started it all, from what I understand. And then he'd been having uh, family issues and other things. So, you know, it's just been not good for Jamal Charlo. But he has opened up, and he says that he is in a, a, a definitely in a better state of mind and when someone asked him about fighting uh, Demetrius Andre, he said, yo, I'm definitely up to uh, making that fight happen. Me and Demetrius Andre were on the phone for over, I think he said like an hour, talking about trying to make this happen. But you know what? I'm glad that fighters are actually talking to each other now on the phone and making these deals, man, because uh, sometimes... When you got those two networks trying to make things happen or the, the, the top heads trying to make things happen, you got this communication gap, you know? But when the two fighters are talking to each other, like how Mayweather and Pacquiao got started, hey, things starting to happen. Just like right now, Spence and uh, Crawford been talking on the phone and things are looking like they're moving towards the right way. So uh, Charlo did say, yeah, we're talking. And Demetrius Andre, he even posted the uh, the uh, interview when Charlo was speaking about that. So it makes it seem like he's confirming, yeah, this is true. We are talking, you know. And Jamal Charlo recently said, hey, if we can make this fight happen, I don't even want to tune up. I want to go straight into this fight and make it happen. Now, that right there, I don't think is a good decision. But, hey, he knows himself better than I do. But I just know them just watching fighters, man, when they haven't fought in a long time, they be a little ring rusty. And their timing be a little off and things of that nature. And if you're going against Demetrius Andre, who just fought in January, 
he's going to be a little bit more sharper than you are. But hey, we want to see the fight. If you like it, like my grandma, if you like it, I love it. So hopefully we get that fight done. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen because uh, I don't want to see this fight when they damn near 40 years old. Let's make these fight happen right now when these guys are in their prime, man. Well, listen here, this is your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, always bringing you the latest news in boxing. Make sure that you like, make sure that you share, make sure you tell somebody about this uh, channel. Get this algorithm moving, you know what I mean? Other than that, I'm out of here.